Welcome back, guys. Sherry here. The Labyrinths. Now, guys, there are six of these. There is three on the surface, and there are three in the sky. But I'm going to show you how you can make it through these extremely easy. And once we make it through these, what we're going to get is the Evil Spirit Armor. Now, not only does this armor look pretty fantastic, guys, but we're going to get almost two different armors in one. We're going to get a Stealth Up, just like the Stealth Armor or the Sheikah Armor, but we're also going to get a set bonus of a disguise bone weapon proficiency just like the radiant armor however this armor does not have to be upgraded in fact it can't be upgraded you just automatically get this when you get this armor set so what does this mean well guys the disguise is stall monsters won't bother you as long as you don't attack them they will not bother you and for those of you that don't know you can actually throw a dazzle fruit and that will kill all of the stall monsters that are around you instantly however if you run across some that are on horses and you throw a dazzle fruit it'll only kill the monsters and it won't kill the horses but what about the bone weapon proficiency well guys if you use any of your weapons that are fused with bones or your arrows that are fused with bones you're going to get the bone weapon proficiency and for a lack of better words it's just more attack power so if you would like to see how to kill lionels using the bone weapon proficiency you can click the link in the upper right hand corner i'll also leave a link in the description now i do use the radiant armor in that video but once you get this evil armor set you can use this instead of using the radiant armor because the radiant armor it has to be enhanced twice by a fairy before you can get the bone weapon proficiency but the evil armor set does not so let me show you how we're going to get this set relatively easy okay so the first labyrinth we're going to go to is right here in the akala region and guys we can just jump and make it there now if you have tulin he can be a big help but I told you we're going to get this extremely easy and fast. Now, I learned this from Breath of the Wild, but what we want to do here is get on top of this labyrinth. And we're just going to make our way around through here. And I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go so that we can reach the shrine and reach the little hand thing that's going to open up the labyrinth that's in the sky. However, guys, if you want to go through the front door, what you want to do is look for these acorns. You'll see them scattered along the floor. That is the direction you want to go in. And I highly recommend looking through this labyrinth because if you do it this way and you get on top, you're going to miss some chests and some other things like that. So I do recommend at least exploring it. You can also lay a travel medallion up on top of the labyrinth that way you can jump down explore and then just travel your way back so i do recommend that but if you want to do it this way and you don't know where to get a travel medallion you can click the link in the upper right hand corner i'll also leave a link in the description but right here on the map is where we need to be if we are on top of the labyrinth this is where we need to jump down and once you jump down and you make it to the floor it's kind of like a little ledge and then you're going to see some gloom here on another ledge we're just going to climb through this gloom and then when you get to the top of that we're going to use ascend and we just want to ascend through the ceiling and then once you get through the ceiling you should see an acorn here let's just run up the steps and here is where we're going to find our hand thing and we're also going to find the shrine now the shrine is just a blessing guys so i would probably at least open the shrine run in grab your blessing but then all we have to do is just touch the little hand thing and once we touch the little hand thing that's going to open up the labyrinth that's in the sky so that we can get to it and the lome labyrinth island prophecy so now all we got to do guys is make our way to the one that's in the sky now we can jump from Ulri mountain skyview tower and get there however it is a long way there there are some islands in between in the sky that can help you out or if you have opened the shrine right over here you can use that but on some of these islands you will see some zona devices some extra batteries You'll even run into some constructs on platforms. You can use those. Or you could just build your own Zonai device. And guys, I do recommend possibly trying to use the Zonai armor. 
If you don't know where to get that, you can click the link in the upper right hand corner. I'll also leave a link in the description. And that just helps you use the Zoni devices without it depleting your batteries so fast. Or if you'd like to see how to max your batteries, I'll also leave a link in the description for that. But once you make it here, however you get here, what you're gonna notice is there's not a lot of gravity here. So you're gonna be able to jump really high, but you're also gonna see the shrine right out front and you're gonna see the little hand thing that we need to hit. And once we hit the little hand thing, it's gonna open up, I guess, four more little hand things or four more terminals, whatever you wanna call them but it's four hidden points that we have to get to. Okay, so when the doors open, what you're gonna notice is there's just a lot of wind coming up from underneath you. So let's just run, jump, and get into the wind. And if you just go straight across, you're gonna find a chest here. Now, once you grab your chest, let's get back up in the air. And what we want to do is make our way around back. Now, you can kind of look in your mini map in the lower right hand corner to see where you're going but what we want to do is get on this very back wall of this labyrinth because some of these walls can't be climbed however this back wall can be climbed and it has some ledges on it because what we want to do is get up on top of this labyrinth and you can kind of rest on these ledges so that you don't run out of stamina. And again, what you'll notice is there's little to zero gravity here, so you're gonna be able to jump really high. So all you have to do is just jump and then rest on these ledges and you won't run out of stamina making it to the top of this labyrinth. Or you could just break out a Zona device and fly your way up there. Whatever works best for you guys. And then once we make it up top, all we want to do, guys, is just lay down our travel medallion because to reach these four points, we actually have to drop down to reach them. However, the wind, of course, is not going to bring us back up on top of this labyrinth. So every time we grab one of these little hand things or one of these little terminals, all we have to do is just travel back to our travel medallion and just repeat it until we can reach all four of them. But once again, guys, doing it this way, you may miss some treasure chests. So you can always target a treasure chest and then jump down, try to find them, and then just use the travel medallion to make your way back up. Or like right here, I fell. And some of these walls cannot be climbed. So it's real easy to fall because there's no gravity, but just use the travel medallion and then you can get yourself right back up on top of the labyrinth. But now, once you get all of the terminals and you get to the very last terminal, the fourth terminal, what's going to happen is there's going to be another terminal that's going to open up on top of the labyrinth anyway. And the very last one, you can either use the travel medallion or you can use your paraglider because it actually will create enough wind that you can get up in the air and it will shoot you through the top to where you can get on top of this labyrinth. And then once again, all we have to do guys is just touch the little hand thing and then this is going to open up the depths. It's actually going to open up the depths that are going to go all the way through the labyrinth that is on the surface. So we just have to jump and go all the way down. And when I say all the way down, I mean we have to go all the way through the other labyrinth. But now they have opened up that grate that leads to the depths. And this first one, it's dark when you start to get down there. So all I did was drop a bright bloom seed. And what we're gonna find down there is a flux construct. They make you think you're gonna actually land right on top of this one at first, but there is another grate. So now we just have to make our way around until we can get to this flux construct. And then we gotta take care of the flux construct. And once we do, that is when the evil spirit armor is going to appear. Well, actually it's gonna be another little hand thing. Let's press that. And then this is when the evil spirit armor will appear in the middle of the room. 
So now let's move on to the other labyrinths. Now guys, I'm not going to go through these labyrinths like I did this one because they are very similar. I'm just going to show you some points of interest. If you do it this way with the travel medallions, there are just some certain areas that you need to know where to jump when you get on top of the labyrinth. Like right here in the North Lome Labyrinth, right here on the map, this is where you want to be if you're on top of this labyrinth. This is where you want to jump from. And guys, it's cold here, so you may need yourself some cold resistant food or cold resistant armor. But once you make your way to the bottom, you're going to see a couple of lights. And then you're just going to see, I guess, a ladder. Let's just make our way up the ladder. And then let's go across and up another set of stairs. And this is where you're going to find your shrine and your little hand thing. Now this shrine, it's covered in ice. You can just throw some fire fruit or something like that just to remove the ice. But the little hand thing or the terminal, it's here in the same room. It'll be right behind you when you're looking at this shrine. But now once you touch the little hand thing and then you are able to go to the sky, the North Lome Castle top floor, this labyrinth is huge. It's extremely tall. So what I did to be able to get on top, and again, guys, you could just use a Zoni device or whatever, but I used the wind and got right here on this little middle platform. And then I turned around and I used a rocket that was fused to my shield. And I used the back side of the front wall because a lot of these other walls inside of here can't be climbed. However, this one can. And guys, it's the front wall. Like right when you get into the labyrinth, just use the wind, get up in the air, and then turn around. But there is a platform in the middle that you can stand on. The little skinny platform that I was standing on. And then just turn around and use the back side of the front wall. And so I just used this wall and I rested when I needed to so I wouldn't run out of stamina. And then I was able to finally get up top. And all you have to do is just place your travel medallion and then you can find your four hidden points. Okay, now the South Lome Labyrinth. All we got to do, guys, is let's make our way to the middle. And you're going to see these four lights. So right here by these four lights, as you can see, right here on the map is where you need to be. This is where you need to jump from. But take your time. You're going to see or you're going to start to see a lot of gloom. But we actually want to get right underneath this ledge. Now, once you get down here and you get underneath this ledge, you're going to see an acorn, so you're going to know you're in the right spot. But right here it is on the map is where you should be. Just a little bit right here to the right of where you jumped down from is where you need to be when you're underneath this ledge. But then all we need to do is let's just make our way back through here, and you're going to take a left. Now you're going to see like a little campfire and a table with a little book on it. And then you're going to see, I guess, some ledges underneath you. Just jump down those ledges, and this is where you're going to find your shrine and your little hand thing. Okay, so now once you touch the hand thingy and you open up the labyrinth that's in the sky, which is the South Lome Castle top floor, guys, it was a little bit easier to get to, and I just made my own Zoni device, and I just went ahead and stopped on top of the labyrinth before I even opened the shrine or the little hand thing that is out front and I went ahead and placed my travel medallion. And then I just jumped down, opened up the shrine, and hit the little hand thing so that it would reveal my four points, and I was able to just travel back up top relatively easy. But now, if you would like to see where to get unlimited arrows extremely easy, click here. And thank you guys so much for over 38,000 subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoy content like this, show me with a like. If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing, and I'll just catch you guys next time.